Hello, welcome back to What a Time to Be Alive. Today we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about the real estate industry. Let's start. Number 1. The most expensive place in the world to buy real estate is in Monaco. Monaco has always been at the top of the list for expensive real estate. So this is no surprise in today's market you could probably buy an apartment about the size of a roomy closet around 172 square feet for $1 million. But why is it so expensive it's beautiful a tax haven if you're French? And of course it has the Grand Prix Japan as next on the list with an average home in Tokyo only being 1,500 square feet and costing upwards of $600,000 New York City. Can't be left off this list either as apartments in the desirable borough of Manhattan go for around $3 million for 2,000 square feet. Number 2 The most expensive real estate deal happened in Hong Kong. In November 2017, Hong Kong tycoon and owner of CKD Asset Holdings Lee Kai Shing at the age of 90 sold his center tower the fifth tallest building in the city. For a record $5.15 billion to a group of investors from mainland China known as CHMT Peaceful. Development Asia Property This is the most expensive real estate deal on record. The beautiful tower is 1.2 million square feet made entirely of steel and capable of housing office space retail space and 402 cars in a parking. Number 3. Mukesh Ambani. Chairman of Reliance Industries built the world's famous Antilia at the cost of $1 billion. Mukesh Ambani, chairman of Reliance Industries built the world-famous Antilia in South Mumbai, India in 2010. To the tune of $1 billion, the 400,000-square-foot tower requires 600 full-time staff members to keep things running smoothly. It has a garage that can hold 160 cars and three heliports. To scale while surrounded by poverty might not have been the most sensitive thing to do it just so happens to be the most expensive house in the world. Number 4 Blockchain Applications Are Disrupting The real estate industry blockchain technology the ability to share databases and essentially information is set to disrupt the real estate industry. With real-time updates on listings and smoother communication. With clients and agents and banks this could speed up the buying process for all involved. Number 5 Global Wealth Is On The Rise Real estate investment is declining but that doesn't mean the wealthy are not buying properties to live in and play. In while real estate as an investment seems to be slowing down in the market the wealthy all over the world are still looking to buy a second third or fourth home. Why is real estate declining as an investment? Smart investors know what goes up must come down and even the wealthiest are not keen on. Investing in overpriced properties as an investment if they're not guaranteed a solid moneymaker. Number 6 Real estate agents might soon be looking for new jobs. Blockchain is set to take over the paper trail for real estate and online companies are popping up offering $400 for broker fees. To help you get through the process of buying this means the thousands of dollars paid out in broker fees could easily be history. These online services could do everything from sending your contract to a lawyer to finding titles and inspections. Basically everything an agent would do but all at your fingertips and for much less. Number 7 Brookfield Management in Canada is the biggest real estate company in the world. Brookfield is the wealthiest property management company in the world. With assets of $195 billion, they are hands down one of the most powerful companies across the globe. Besides owning much of the skyline in Toronto, Sydney, London, and LA Brookfield. Brookfield is probably the largest purveyor of infrastructure in the world it owns 18 hydroelectric plants and is the largest independent owner of cell towers. It owns electric power lines in Ireland wind farms in Chile and manages 3,600 toll roads in India and South America. Canal. Number 8 The most expensive land is in the Suez Canal. This artificial sea level waterway in Egypt that connects the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea generates about $6 billion every year from tolls. Huge cargo ships cost a lot of money to get from one port to another. So taking this shortcut saves them time and money. Despite the toll thousands of dollars a day are generated by all the waterway traffic on the Suez. Making it one of the most valuable waterways in the world. Number 9 40% of people buying homes for the first time are millennials. Despite being called a lot of things including lazy millennials are digging into their wallets to purchase real estate. And many of them are first time home buyers making up 40% of the market is a pretty big deal. And 65% of them are under the age of 34. Number 10 The tiny home fad is over remember. When everyone was running out to look at refurbished storage containers to turn into sleek minimalist tiny homes. Yeah that's over get prepared for sticker shock. 
because the cost of building your tiny house on average is around $58,000. That doesn't sound like much right pot you still have to buy the land too. Number 11 The most expensive golf course in the world took $250 million to build. To get to Liberty National just outside of Manhattan members have the option of taking a private boat long course. Or take a helicopter which will land on the course's helipad where you'll be greeted by a golf cart to take you to your first tee the joining fee is rumored. To be around $374,000 amenities have added. Yacht services spas and restaurants, furthermore construction is set to begin on 900 adjacent homes. Which will cost from $1.5 to $5 million each. Number 12 McDonald's is actually a real estate company. Since McDonald's is a chain with restaurants all over the world you would think they get their profits from the food industry. While their take from the franchisees' food sales is around $9 billion. They actually own $40 billion worth of real estate McDonald's has been struggling lately and it would make a good economic. Sense if they started on trying to spend profits of that $40 billion. Rather than hoping the trend of healthy eating goes away. Number 13 The average house price in America is $428,700. The average house price in the U.S. has increased each year for the last four years. The median house price increased by 416 percent between 1980 and 2020 to $428,700. House prices and income vary from state to state, but the average monthly mortgage payment is $1,230 per month for a 30-year, fixed-rate loan. Hawaii is the most expensive state to purchase a home with an average house price of $1,038,544. Number 14 Buyers will pay more for smart home devices. 78% of home buyers said they would pay more for a home with smart devices installed. Smart home technology makes a house more convenient while saving time and money. Women are also twice as likely to desire home security systems as men. Multifunctional smart hubs are the most popular devices with video doorbells and smart lighting following closely behind. Number 15. The average home purchase takes 51 days. According to ICE Mortgage Technology, it takes an average of 51 days to close a loan on a home purchase. Getting pre-approved for your mortgage can shorten this time and improve your chances of a better mortgage rate. Keeping a close eye on your finances and preparing documents can also save time and speed up the home buying process. So that was all in our video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this.